welcome to the sociology channel in this lecture we are discussing about norms norms is a plain english word which is used in our day to day life as well but in sociology we complicate this concept we complicate this concept to such a manner that whenever we are studying sociology we are necessarily studying about norms the objective of this lecture is not to study everything with respect to norms because once we would be discussing about sociological think thinkers or when we would be studying some other sociological concepts like cultural relativism dramaturgy we would again be studying norms so the objective of this lecture is to understand norms so that we are able to proceed with our study of sociology we are touching the concept of norms in general sense norms means socially acceptable way of behaving but why studying norms is necessary for a sociologist because norms is present everywhere norms is omnipotent be it the place where we work the institution the organization we regularly use the word organizational norms place of worship temple school family everywhere every institution we come across this word norms if a school does not has norms a classroom does not has norms it would be very tough to facilitate class isn't it some random student will stand up will get up at any point of time and will walk out of the class or every now and then if the permission is made compulsory every now and then the student will get up and will say excuse me i am going out how much disturbance it will cause into the classroom so every classroom has certain norms besides when we are studying about culture nation society whenever as a sociologist we are studying about these sociological concepts we study about ideal culture real culture material culture we study about symbols languages values beliefs norms and now digital technology internet how it is all changing norms the changing format of digital technology how it is changing norms when we study about norms we also study about mores m o r e s folkways social control deviance laws all of these sociological concepts are connected to norms and that makes norms one of the most important sociological concept to study but when we study about light or when we study about darkness we need to study other concept what is darkness absence of light is darkness so we will define light we will bring the concept of lumen and we will say that there is a absence of light and so there is a darkness how much darkness is there by putting some number to lumen we can understand that how much darkness is prevailing one lumen so we can fairly understand so it would be very dark very medieval like night one candle would be lit and for some 10 15 20 feet there will not be any other light source we can understand about darkness by understanding the concept of light similarly we understand the concept of norms 
by studying the concept of deviance by studying the concept of laws and to understand norms we also understand social control person says that social norms are mechanism for social control so deviance is necessary to understand to understand norms it is one of the most important aspect about studying norms you can see on this slide that this is indica cannabica commonly known as bhang ganja at one point of time it was a perfectly socially acceptable norms to consume it i have seen i have personally seen that even in farms at the border of farms they used to plant these trees because cows and buffaloes do not uh, like the smell of this plant the smell that this plant leaves so to keep them away such plants were planted but now it is controlled it is illegal in many sense how this norms changed because of changing laws but why this law was changed you can see a very popular pharmaceutical company bear it used to sell heroin and as of now we know that this is a illegal product the consumption of heroin is illegal you can see the leaf leaves image on government of india's international day against drug abuse how such representation is changing the social norms of india that's why i have drawn this image where norms are getting impacted by deviance and law deviance will get impacted by law law will impact norms and why we become a deviant is deviant a imperfect way to exist in society or deviant is a perfect example of a social structure what is deviance by understanding that we will come to understand about norms how the norms of a school could be compared to norms of a hospital could be compared to norms of a prison could be compared to norms when we visit parliament when we visit rashtrapati bhavan understanding norms from its several perspective is necessary for a sociologist so we are seeing that what we need is sociological understanding of norms to get that we need to have sociological understanding of deviance we also need to understand about sociology of law to understand norms generally we do empirical and theoretical studies because that is what makes sociology a perfect science it brings scientific temper into sociology the empirical studies to study norms we need to study about the objective reality of social facts what is a social fact the ideal way 
of norms versus the norms which is practiced by looking at both things we can see social facts which is present in that particular society norms is such an important concept that durkheim brought the concept of anomic suicide anomy state of normlessness while durkheim is discussing about several concepts about suicide durkheim brings this important concept this highlights the importance about studying norms durkheim states that norms and rules are expectations by which a society guides the behavior of its members thus sanctions rewards punishment are the methodology to have social norms these things like sanctions rewards and punishments they encourage conformity conformity to what conformity to norms have you studied the book have you read the book this is a novel 1984 by george orwell once you read that it's a very uh, interesting story and it's a must read book for every student of sociology or political science or law and especially for sociologist it's a must read book once you will go through that story identify how the society was made a conformist society and are they looking at some extremeness of conformism or it's normal it's a normal social cultural norms for that particular time for that particular era which is being shown in the book 1984 now we are breaking the definition of norms to study about norms rules of behavior which reflect or embody a culture's values is norms and how it is being practiced prescribing a given type of behavior certain behavior is prescribed or it is forbid that i could not walk into a school in my night dress in my night gown i could not walk into a place of worship in certain dress it is prescribing and it is also forbidding norms are always backed by sanctions of one kind or another informal disapproval or punishment execution the same definition of norms which we studied now i have broken it into parts so that you understand that how we break apart a particular definition and how we interpret it how we discuss it rules or behavior point number 1 point number 2 prescribing or forbidding point number 3 informal disapproval or punishment for example 
if i walk in a park in certain dress which is too revealing for the society i might not get punishment under indian penal code but a informal disapproval will be received by the society now if i am staring at someone constantly for a elongated period of time and if that person is from opposite sex opposite gender i will be punished under indian penal code it would be considered as ogling informal disapproval punishment this is a simplest way to understand about norms while we study about norms we study about these concepts as well which you can see on your slide deviant social control social order how society creates control social order how norms facilitate social order role how our role defines the norms which you are which we are supposed to follow socialization how we learn about these norms in family in a school in certain workplace where we work when we join a particular workplace we are given induction and besides teaching us about organizational vision and mission they also teach us about organizational norms organizational rules are to be segregated from organizational norms thus socialization identity how we study about the identity of a particular culture by studying about the social norms how power impact norms of that particular society like i gave you the example of the book 1984 you can see that the power of big brother the big brother is always watching and how doing certain acts is considered deviance the deviants are punished coercion the deviants are not welcome in certain manner they are given a social example by giving a open punishment and this is coercion how we study about norms ethno methodology and through post modernist these are some popular methodology when we will be studying about methodology again we would be studying about norms when we would be studying about sociological thinkers we'll be coming back to norms with respect to each sociological thinkers foucault foucault brings a very important concept in his book discipline and punish power relations power force individuals to conform to social norms this highlights the importance of studying norms from sociological perspective from sociology of law perspective now this is from a book the reference is cited there you may study the book this image shows that how norms are getting shaped by will how will is impacted how knowledge impacts norm how system possibilities system conditions system here system is coming as the 
कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिस्टम्स थिंकिंग अप्रोच एक्चुअली द सिस्टम्स थिंकिंग अप्रोच कम्स फ्रॉम सोशोलॉजिकल परस्पेक्टिव एंड नाउ एज ऑफ नाउ सिस्टम्स थिंकिंग इज हाईली यूज इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्टडीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेवलपमेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स स्टडीज यू कैन सी दैट नॉर्म कैन बी बेस्ड ऑन द विल as well as knowledge and how we get knowledge we may get knowledge by understanding gender norms we are following gender norms in certain manner so it will impact our knowledge in certain manner if we are following certain religion certain politics certain economics we are having certain social relations social bondings it is all impacting our will which is again impacting norms so thus the system conditions existing in a particular society impacts norm norms impacts our will to act our will to act impacts our knowledge our knowledge impacts our will to act so this image is showing that will knowledge system conditions system possibilities all these are deeply connected to each other to impact norms now what happens when we view norms from this perspective this impacts our understanding about law from sociological perspective that how laws are being made by looking at norms generally people say that laws are freezed norms but is it always the case when we study about in our paper 2 when we would we would be studying about tribals we would be studying about tribal cultures we will see that how this is this statement if given is wrong and if you know about indian tribal culture if you know about several tribes you might already be knowing this fact that norms when freezed are not laws in that case as a sociologist i am not saying that whether it is good or bad whether it is right or wrong but i am just stating the simple fact now this is paloma a drag queen if you do not know about drag kindly look on internet to know more about drag the drag culture drag disputes heterosexualities idea idea that heterosexuality is natural drag is subversive to this idea drag is subversive to norms discuss discuss in comment that how this drag disputes heterosexuality's claim on naturalness and how it is subversive to norms if you will discuss i'll respond to you thank you very much for joining me in this lecture of norms if you want to study more about norms we'll have more lectures with respect to norms this is just part 1 of norms thank you very much for joining me please see my other lectures as well thank you